Good morning. And we continue with our Sunday school class uh, on the subject of making choices. Just to refresh our memory, we are talking about making the right choices like Gideon, obeying God, even though he didn't feel capable of doing what God wanted him to do. And then Samson, not really obeying God, but at the end he went ahead and did uh, offer his life to do what he was supposed to do. And today's lesson is titled, Mary Anointed Jesus' Feet. And as we read the story, I want us to think about choices that we have to daily make. We Every day we have to make choices. So let's hear the story and and uh, see how people make choices, okay? Mary anointed Jesus' feet. This is taken from the book of John, chapter 12, verse 1 through 8. Jesus and his disciples came to Bethany, the village where Jesus' friends, Lazarus, lived with his sisters, Martha and Mary. Now, this is not the same Mary, the mother of Jesus. This is another Mary. Mary and Martha had a brother named Lazarus, who later on Jesus raised from the dead. So Lazarus and his sisters gave a special dinner for Jesus at their house. Martha served dinner. Lazarus sat at the table with Jesus. Mary took a pound of an expensive oil called nard. The word nard in Spanish is nardo. It is actually a flower. And when turning to oil, it's very, very expensive because it, it has a beautiful scent. She poured the oil on Jesus' feet and then wiped his feet with her hair. The whole house was filled with the rich smell of the perfume. Judas, the disciple, who would later help Jesus' enemies arrest Jesus, complained about Mary's actions. He would say, why wasn't this oil sold and the money given to the poor. Judas demanded. He did not really care about the poor. He only cared about the money because he was a thief. Judas was keeper of the disciples' money's bag and will help himself to the disciples' money. Jesus said to him, Leave her alone. She saved this perfume for the day of my burial. For the day he was going to be buried. He's talking in the future. And then he added, You will always have poor people, but you will not always have me. So you can see right here, that one person chooses to offer this very expensive perfume to express her love, her admiration for Jesus. And yet, there is another one who was more concerned about himself, more concerned about the money, than about the poor or anything, anybody else. And this is Judas. So these two people, we can see, they, had diff they made different choices in life. Mary chose to express her love by washing with this expensive 
perfume Jesus' feet. And Judas was more concerned about the money. He chose to worry about the money than anything else. So this is, what do we learn from here? We learn that life is a life of choices. And we should always try to make the right choice to please God, to show God that we love Him, and to show God that we're obedient. And even though we may, we may think ourselves not to be capable of doing so, like Gideon, by faith, do it. And you will be blessed. We will be blessed every time. Today's weekly Bible verse is found in Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 5. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength. Deuteronomy 6, 5. The Lord bless you and keep you. Until next week. Bye-bye.